I know, I know. Hold on right quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Welcome back to the stage of history. What's going on, y'all? Lockout man, back in the building. I am here in Ohio, and uh, I got a little bit of time to kill, so I thought I would do another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. So welcome to this episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Uh, I'm glad that you can uh, make it here. Before I get into this video, man, and I always uh, say and stress the fact that I promote this particular app on my phone. And I believe you guys should get it as well. It is called Driver Post, right there. It is the Truck Driver's Guide to Finding Any Truck Driving Jobs Out Here. Driver Post. Make sure you download this app to your phone. And um, and yeah, you, you, can, you can pretty much be anywhere. You know, sitting in the truck, sitting at home and just fill out the application once and just upload it to any company you wanna you wanna get with driver posts make sure you get it all right so this episode this one is not a, a subscriber suggestion this one is a facebook suggestion i was uh sitting here and i was going through my facebook and you know a lot of these truck driving companies use social media now to attract all sorts of drivers. They attract you to come in through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, whatever whatever social media outlet that you're on, that's what these truck drive dr that's what these truck driving companies are coming for. They're coming for you through social media. It took me a minute, but I had to uh I had to go and look it up and get some of the uh, information, uh, some of the research. Definitely do your research on the jobs that you're interested in. If you're interested in flatbed, make sure you do your research on that flatbed company. If you're interested in drive-in, reefer, or anything else, make sure you do your research on those particular companies. This one YouTuber, uh, Trucking Answers, he has a good list of things that you guys should research when doing, uh, when looking for a truck driving job. Go on the website, and I forget what it is, but I'll go ahead and uh, link it in the uh, description below. That you can go on the web on this particular website, and you can look and see how many accidents they were in, their if their insurance lapsed or if they if they DOT they you know they they DOT lapsed or anything like that, you can go and look and do your background research on any company that you want to see. I'll link that video in the description below. This one company that's popped up on my Facebook several times, J L E Industries. Now I've seen their trucks. I spoke to some of their drivers. Um, I spoke to some of their drivers. I will go ahead and take a look anyway and see what kind of ratings that, uh, reviews and ratings that, uh, that the drivers give for this uh, company. But in their Facebook posts, it reads, and as always, it's gonna be somewhere up there, right there maybe right there i don't know it's going to be on the screen somewhere but you guys can follow along jle industries one time every time that's proudly driven they offer up to 60 cent per mile base pay and bonus now let's 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 take that base pay and bonus and up two part now this is 60 cent 
it's probably not your starting pay. You see what I'm saying? Your starting pay will probably be somewhere in the 40s, maybe, maybe high 40s, and then the rest of it is uh, on your incentives, like miles per gallon, safety incentives, and so forth and so on. You guys, you guys know how they do. So you will probably start at maybe the low, the low end, I will probably say 45 and the high end will probably be 49. But when I make the call, I will find out. It says they offer a $5,000 sign on bonus pay, pay to start on low one. Now, I went further out, I went deep into the comments to actually find out what was this payout was because I was under the impression that they paid it out on the first load. But as you go deep into the comment, uh, a commenter replied, so you pay drivers 5K on the first load? JB JLE responded no the payments start after the first load you get five hundred dollars then five hundred per month up to six months where you receive the remaining balance so so fully paid by six months now that's like I said, you, you got to do your due diligence when you when when they be wording stuff like that. Now, if you would have read that like I did and didn't find this in the comments, then I would have said, whoa, I get my five thousand dollars on the first load. That's that's right there. Still one of the better places that I heard that pay their sign on bonus quick. You know, this is six months. Usually, companies will spread it out to like at least a year to two years. All right, let's uh, let's continue. Pre plans, freight options, lease purchase program after ninety days, no money down, and Virgin trucks zero miles available for new company drivers. Apply online or call or chat with us on Facebook. So this is how this is how recruiters of these big companies now go after uh, drivers now by offering them sign-on bonuses and that's what you, I only see trucking companies does that. I I don't see any other companies do that, but trucking. It's funny. All right, well, let's get on the ball. Let's get on the clock. Let's give JLE Industries a quick call. This is Katrina. Uh, I'm sorry, what'd you say your name was? My name is Ketra. How can I help you? Ketra. Ken Kentra, right? Yeah. I, I don't want to butcher your name. Yeah. <laughs> That's Hi. okay. It's happened before. How you doing? Um, my name is Sean. I'm uh I'm uh -huh. are are you a recruiter? I sure am. All right. Um, is it all right that I talk to you about the company right quick? Yeah, absolutely. I'm standing in line at the airport, so are you are you sure you got time? I mean I I have a few qu uh, what questions can I answer for you, Sean? Um, okay. All right, cool. Um, all right. Do you guys offer uh, uh, company sponsored training there? Is, 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 do you guys offer? We do not. Okay. We're, that's something that we're working on. We're a smaller company. So we've only got about 300 trucks right now, which means that we're at the mercy of our insurance company to make those decisions. We're just not quite there, but that is something that we are working towards. Okay, okay. But you guys, whoops, hold on. Uh, I lost connection there. Can you hear me? I can. Okay, yeah, I, I lost connection from you for a second there. 
All right. Um, what are what are what are your higher areas? I'm from Ohio, so what do you guys hire out of? We we hire out of the whole state of Ohio, but as of today, our company is going to require you to have two years tractor trailer experience before we can touch you. Oh, okay. What was it before, and why no. and why the change? It's always it's always been two years. So we're hoping that we'll, we'll get that reduced and get a training program in place. But mm. until we can grow a little bit and, and become self-insured, um, that's just going to be on hold for right now. So we're just at the mercy of our insurance company. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where's okay. where's the ter where's the terminal located at? Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Do you guys have more than one terminals around? Uh, we also have one in we also have one in Arkansas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Now I've read a little bit on the on the Facebook page uh, of what you guys uh -huh. what you guys offering the uh, sign on uh -huh. bonus, which is five thousand dollars. Can you go into a little bit of detail about how that's paid out? Well, it pays out within six months, so it's it's five hundred dollars a month. Um, for the first five months, and then you get the final installment of that after six months. All right, is that is is that tier on to like a like a threshold or something like that that you had to get so many miles a month in order to in order no. to get that paid out? No, no, no. Sign on bonuses don't work like that. Sign on bonuses are just going to be an installment, um, you know, based on the payout, and then um, you know there's going to be different companies have different kind of productivity bonuses that are going to be performance based all right so let's say i'm interested in coming on and another company offers me a a five cent difference would you guys match that mm -hmm. well until you have two years of experience there's nothing that i can do so okay. all right. i can't i can't get you qualified right now until you've got two years of experience and i don't know when that's going to change okay well, actually, I have three, so. <laughs> you have three years. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I'm have... sorry. I thought you were. I thought you were needing to go to training. Oh no 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 no. I no. I have three, but I got you know. I'm okay. I'm asking questions not only for myself, but I'm, I I'm also you. asking gotcha. questions okay. for other people as well. I so, gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Um, so, how many years of that three years is flatbed? Uh, flatbed. None. Okay. Oh, so this this is a flat. No. Okay. This is a flatbed company, or I... yeah, yeah, we're a flatbed company. Oh. So oh, we it is need flatbed. two years of minimum tractor trailer, and then you have to have a minimum of six months. It has to be flatbed. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. That's so, all right. So that's yeah, something. and then like I said, and that's going to be something that's going to change a lot sooner than our true training program like if you were a student and needing to get your cdl mm -hmm. um we're working on getting we're working on getting that uh, training program in place to where we can hire people with no flatbed experience gotcha. but that have tractor trailers so um if you can do this for me if you will text me um i'll shoot you a text message if you'll reply to that with your email address i'll get you some information and then as soon as that changes which i hope will be before january then I can give you a call and let you know that we've got that changed and we can bring you on. Okay. Well, I, I do know some flatbed people uh, that that might be yeah. interested in uh, in in J awesome. J E L. Uh, I got a few more questions. You mind answering them right quick? Absolutely. All sure right. Thing. Cool. Awesome. Uh, for all right. So, like, for a person that's coming in to do the uh, to do the pre-employment pre-test. Do you guys require uh -huh. hair follicle tests for pre-employment? No. no, just a urine test. Just a urine test. Uh, being Correct. that being that this is flatbed, you guys require uh -huh. an agility test. No. Okay. What's your policies on felons? Uh, they have to be outside of five years, and um, there's a few stipulations, but most of them are going to fall, um, you know, basically case by case. Okay. Where's the orientation held at? Or, uh, orientation is up in Dunbar, Pennsylvania. It's just outside of Pittsburgh, which is where the home office is at. All right. Do you get, uh, do they get paid for, uh, orientation? And if so, how long is it? It's a four day orientation. It's a hundred dollars a day. We cover hotel, single occupancy, 
We cover all your meals while you're there, and we will buy you a plane ticket or a rental car. Okay, okay. Um, you guys do teams? We do not. That's something that we're, you know, moving in that direction. You know, we're, we've done a lot of growing. We've actually doubled our fleet size this year. Mm -hmm. So I hope we'll be able to accommodate teams at some point, but it's not there yet. All right. What's the what's the cent per mile? Now on the Facebook page it says up uh -huh. to sixty cent. Up to 60. But what yes. is what so, is the what is the base pay starting? Right. Right. Um so base pay if you were to come to me with between six months of flatbed experience and three years of flatbed experience, that's gonna be a fifty cents a mile base. Uh, if you have more than three years of flatbed experience and it's gonna be fifty five cents a mile base. And then everybody's eligible for the five cent a mile productivity bonus every month. So. Okay, okay. Is the pay based on straight miles or is there a sliding scale? It is. No, not a sliding scale. You get paid for short hauls if there's a, a short haul less than 200 miles, um, but that's not going to be too often. All right. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? It is included in that, in that 50 or 55 cents a mile. Okay. What about a breakdown in detention pay? We pay both, and right. stop pay and tarp pay. All right. Okay. Could you go into a little bit detail on how much uh, how much they get paid? Uh, so tarping is thirty five dollars for your first tarp, and then ten ten dollars additional for any other tarps that you may need. Mm -hmm. You get paid uh, twenty dollars per stop, mm -hmm. and uh, detention pay. I don't have my sheet right in front of me. That's not a question I get all the time. I believe. But it's $60. Okay. But don't quote me on that. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Well, so, and whatever, that would be true for breakdown as well. I mean, whatever you're giving me off the top of your head is awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. what, how often do lay... I think I've got it in my email. <laughs> how, often, how often do layovers happen and are they paid? Um, they are paid, yeah. It would be, the, it would be layover, um, detention, and breakdown are all paid at $60. And you know that that's just kind of the nature of the beast. You've been doing it long enough that you know you know layovers are just kind of unpredictable. Depends right. on what happens out there. So right. obviously we want you to be moving. Okay. Uh, what benefits do you guys offer? We have medical, dental. Uh, those would be paid by you. That's about fifty dollars uh, for you mm -hmm. if it's just a, yourself that you're signing up on insurance. And then we pay for your vision insurance and mm -hmm. we pay for your life insurance. Okay. Okay. Now, being that this is flatbed, and I know some flatbed drivers has have hazmat. I mean, do you guys? We don't do hazmat. You guys don't require it. No, we don't do hazmat. Okay. No sir. How much? How how many miles an average driver could could average a week? If our guys, if our guys are going home on weekends, it's twenty two hundred miles a week solid. Mm -hmm. um, if they stay out more than nine days, then they get between twenty seven hundred and three thousand miles a week. Okay. Okay. What now? This is flatbed. So, what lanes are available? Do you guys have regional dedicated? We most of our stuff is going to keep us in the center of the eastern half of the U.S. Okay. So, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Tennessee, Kentucky, the Carolinas, Virginia, West Virginia, Alabama, Georgia, uh, Mississippi, Arkansas, a little bit into Texas. That's kind of our primary core of our freight, mm -hmm. and then everything surrounding those states up to Maine, down to Florida. Uh, Texas, Oklahoma, up to Michigan and Wisconsin. Okay. Are all the miles are all the miles paid and how is it calculated? Yeah. It's practical. Practical miles. Okay. okay. Loaded and empty. Do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Uh, we cover most of your tolls for you and we have easy pass. Easy pass and free pass. Alright. Now this is flatbed. Now do you guys do you guys do dropping hooks and flatbedding? Um, very little. So most of the time what we tell our drivers is you're going to be married to that trailer. Okay. Okay. What's the home time policy there? Uh, we earn a day and a half for every seven out. All right. What's the, all right. So I'm on my home time, right? What's the maximum amount of days I could stay out on my home time before you guys start to um, stay off? Yes. Um, I know a lot of companies have restrictions on that. We're flexible. If you've earned it, you get to keep it. So, um, okay. to my knowledge, there is not any kind of restriction on how many days you can earn and keep or take off at a time. 
Right. So if you're going to be off for an extended period, we'll probably ask you to park at one of the terminals. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the time, you're just going to take that truck home for your home time. So that was my next question. Can we take the truck home? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So my driver manager, if I'm if I'm working with you guys, how 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 uh -huh. many other how many other drivers off the top of your head I got to share them with? Thirty. Thirty. About thirty. Right. Thirty to one. Yeah. Right. Most companies are going to be fifty to one. All right. What's the pet and rider policy? Uh, rider has to be over eighteen, and uh, pet policy you can have one pet in the truck, and that's a uh, thirty-five pound limit, but that's kind of flexible. So. Okay. Um, I am at security, so I'm going to shoot you a text message, and All I right. will call you tomorrow if that's okay. All right. Well, th well, thank you very okay. much. You know, you you don't have to do you You're don't have to welcome. do all that, but thank for the little bit of time that you're giving me, ma'am. Thank you very much. What's your name again? You uh, my name is Katrell. I'll shoot you a text message. All right, Katrell. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Have all right now. I know, I know, I know. That's that's what I'm talking about. I to get my little microphone right here, but that's what's up. That is what's up. J E L Industries. Well, what you guys think of that call? I, I know what y'all about to say. I know what y'all about to say. Look, lockout man, that was a short call. Yes, it was a short call because uh, she was on her she was at the airport. She was getting ready to get on the plane So the little bit of time that she gave us was great and the little bit of information You know key information that she did give us was great as well So what you guys think of that call now listen when you guys start basing your your opinions on the call just base it on the call itself because like I said, she was she did not rush me. All right. She did not rush me. She gave me her time, the little bit of time that she had before she got on the plane. So that was real good of her. So thank you very much. I can't pronounce your name. All right. So I'm just gonna put it somewhere right here. All right. So thank you very much for the uh time. I really do appreciate it. And guys, tell me what you guys think of that. If y'all interested in JEL Industries, give them a call. Uh, I will link the uh, information to the recruiter, as always, in the, in the comments below. But uh, again, like I said, what you guys think? I mean, so far, so far, she's so good, especially when she broke down the actual pay for the uh, for the uh, cent per mile. See, I told you guys it was going to have to be break down. It wasn't a starting sixty, and she also broke down the uh, the uh, sign-on bonus as well. So that's very good too. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Quick episode of lockout men makes the call i want to thank every everybody for supporting the channel all three thousand plus of you guys and still county so thank you very much i really do appreciate it if you guys have any questions for me to ask these recruiters out here definitely leave it in the comments below and if you guys have anybody you want me to call definitely leave that in the comments below and I also would like to shout out um, Trucking Answers. You guys check out his channel. He got some real good content, especially for you new drivers out here that's interested in getting into trucking, all right? Check out Trucking Answers. The guy's name, Mark, he's real good. Uh, that's it, I'm done, all right? Lockout man makes the call. I will come back at you guys with another, another, another episode. Uh, I believe this is episode 15. I'm not sure when I'm, I'm going to stop, but epi uh, season three is coming next year. It ain't coming this year. It's coming next year. So be on the watch out. Everybody, I'd like to say thank you very much. And I know I'm rambling right now, so I'm about to get off, all right? You guys take it easy. And as always, tell me, who's next?